It's Mike with Iceberg Gaming here with another Project Zomboid guide for today. In today's guide, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cure the zombie virus in game. Now, yes, this is cheating. So if you don't want to cheat, don't do this method. But uh, your character, if you get the zombie virus, is going to die unless you have like mods or something. So anyways, what we're going to do to make this work is we are going to quit to desktop. And then we are going to go into our Steam library and select Project Zomboid. Right click and then you can go down to Properties. And then you will get this pop up here in the General tab under Launch Options. You're going to type dash debug. And then you can close that and start the game. And then once you have loaded the game back up, you'll have this extra thing here, this scenarios. Uh, I'm not sure why this isn't in the main game, but uh, for now, we're just going to go back into our game. So we're going to, if, if you, it's the last game you played, you can just press continue. Otherwise, you want to load. And then once you log in game, you will notice you will have this command console down here. And then you will have uh, this icon here. This is the debug menu. So uh, for our purposes, we're not going to use the command console, so we'll close that down and we'll go into the debug menu. Unfortunately, I do not have a character that is infected with the zombie virus. I thought about trying to get this guy bit uh, just so I could show you guys how to do it step by step, but I didn't want to risk him because this is my character that is um, uh, almost 600 days old. He's killed 16 and a half thousand zombies and I use him for all my guides and I'm actually filming a series with him where he will survive for a thousand days. So subscribe to the channel so you can no be notified when that series comes out. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be a story heavy series. So hopefully you are into that. But anyways, so to cure the zombie virus, what you would do is you would go into your health tab on your character here, and then you would right click on here. I'm going to actually, I yeah, we can go ahead and give ourselves, look, you can give yourselves wounds. So what you need to do before you can give your uh, cure the zombie virus is you need to heal. Uh, you need to heal yourself. So you can heal the specific part. Like if it's on your hand, you could heal that part. Otherwise, you could full heal your body here. Uh, and then after that, you're going to go into the general debuggers menu and go to Moodles and Body. And here you can change all your hunger, thirst, anything all the moods that your character has, you can you can fix them. And what you're going to do here is you're going to... This will be checked if you are infected. And you'll just click it to uncheck it. Ooh, I just gave myself the virus and then cured myself. So that is how you do it. You can also put yourself on fire. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to do that. Also, while you're here, you can cover yourself in blood. You can um, do some... Uh, you can spawn a chopper in here. Uh, and then... Uh, that is how you cure the zombie virus. Now, while we're here, we can also do some other fun stuff. You can edit your character. You can give yourself traits. You can give yourself experience uh, with any of the skills. You can change your character's name and stuff like that. You can actually change your weights, too. Uh, I think this stuff over here is for multiplayer, uh, so we're not going to worry about that. And then in the climate debuggers, you can change the weather and stuff like that. A lot of cool stuff in here if you are interested in being a cheater. Uh, you, uh, we already went over that one. Here in the uh, item stats, we can spawn in items. So I want to... Let's see. I want an M16. So give me an M16. Let's go ahead and uh, sp spawn this in. How do we do it? Uh, add one. And now that appears in our inventory. Very cool. Now we can also right click on the ground we can spawn we can remove all zombies we can spawn zombies we can um we can teleport we can spawn a vehicle i'm gonna go ahead and spawn a uh where's the i'm gonna spawn a toyota supra right there and we have a is that a supra we can also spawn in zombies we can remove all the zombies and uh where was it again And there we go. We spawned in a zombie. Just be careful that you don't spawn them and get yourself killed. <laughs> uh, 
And also, uh, we can go into the cheat menu. You can make yourself invisible. You can go into God Mode Ghost. Uh, you can uh, just do a lot of fun things in here. Additionally, you can go into the dev mode and check out what the regions are, and it'll show you where, if there's any zombies in the area, uh, and you can uh, edit the world and do all kinds of fun things. I don't like to play around with this too much. Um, I don't like to cheat that much when I can avoid it, uh, but uh, there, are, there are some interesting things you can do if that is something you are interested in. The last thing I want to go over in the cheat menu is we can um, go into the vehicle menu by opening up the hood of a car, and we can uh, go into this. We can, is vehicle cheat equals true, turn that on, and then we can do all kinds of things. We can cheat and get the key. We can cheat and hotwire it. We can repair the entire vehicle, and it just fully heals anything. You can also uh, do that to specific parts, and um, you can make it rusty, just Lots of all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off. Let's go ahead and repair this Supra too while we're at it. We're going to get the key. We're going to repeal it, repair it. We're going to set the rust to zero. Now we have the nice pristine toyota supra here to drive around and we even have the key so we can hop on in and let's crank this sucker up but that about wraps it up for today's video hope you found it helpful if you did you know what to do like comment share and subscribe any questions in the comment section i'll do my best to answer them either in the comments or i will make you a video thank you so much for all your support i really appreciate it